hope you're okay. Your Oscar got hit by a car last night. That's cool. I mean, did you really get hit by a car, though? I did. You well, did? I did. It was the, the, the door. But yeah. The door hit your hand on the bike? Doored. You got doored. That's Stop being so dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, it's time to start planning 2018, which yeah. is crazy to think about, but like, the, it's so soon. It's already August, I couldn't believe it. I, this morning when I woke up and my Metro card didn't work, I was like, wait, why? <laughs> it's, this was until August. And then I'm like, oh shit, it's August. All right, so today, um, what I wanna get done is, first of all, I wanna give a very warm welcome to Tony. Tony Pellegrino, like the water. For those, for, here's what I don't get. For those of you that are watching that don't understand what that means, like, first of all, Google Pellegrino. Second of all, like, go out into the world once in a while. Like, how do you not know what Pellegrino water is? Like, go out into the world. What's wrong with you people? Like, I'm sorry if you don't get that. Uh, Tony is gonna be jamming on the vlog with us, um, along with Oscar and Nick, so dude, thank you. We're super happy to have you on the team, man, so welcome. We had a really funny interaction last night at La Pan on the way to the event where this guy started talking. He, he was like asking Santa who she was, why she's filming. It turns out he's a rapper. So se 17, right? Yeah, 17. 17, we're coming for your music. So he wants to put some music on the show, which was cool. And I listened to some of his stuff last night. It's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. The event last night was awesome. Really funny thing. The beds were $34,000. I told these guys this morning. Can you believe those beds were $34,000? So worth it. And a hundred, and by the way, she told me, she goes, that's the cheapest bed. The, she's like, come back into the more expensive, the event last night was at this bed store, this like fancy bed store in Chelsea. And she said, come back to the see the more expensive bed. It was $150,000. So then I'm like, I like try to, to convince them, remember this? I like try to convince them to exchange marketing. Like we would exchange marketing services in exchange for a bed, which is pretty selfish of me because I get the bed, you guys don't get the bed. It's a little bit messed up. So just a couple of things, I think, um, just follow up stuff from last night. There's a guy that I want to hit up from CBS that also ha runs a big podcast here in the city that was interested in having us come on. Uh, I, I DM'd him last night. It's really all about the DM. Like seriously, it's literally all, about, it's, it's crazy to me. This is something that like anyone that's watching, like really, you. I hope that you're taking advantage of this opportunity. It's never ever been easier to get in front of people, no matter who that person is than it is today. I can literally find anyone on Instagram and DM them. Like in the past, people wouldn't put their emails on websites because they didn't want people to DM them. Now you can d literally, I can DM anyone. It's awesome. Like I could DM Mark Anthony if I want. You know, that's who I want to DM, right? Another fun little practical tip right now. I had a good conversation last night. So the whole thing about incarceration nations was that, um, was that it's it's really how do you deal with how do you help people that have been incarcerated uh, succeed after life in life in life after prison in the outside world and one of the so one of the women came up to me afterwards and she we started talking and she was previously incarcerated and now she's a mother and she just she she's trying to start to become kind of a speaker blogger type thing about her experience and she's asked to speak all the place. But what I told her was, um, she said, I don't, know how, I don't know how to start a vlog, I don't know how to start a blog. And the cool thing right now is that in Facebook and in Instagram, long form blog posts are actually doing really well. So people you know, have this misconception that you have to have, everything has to be really quick. You have to put really one, two lines up in Facebook. In fact, some of my best content and some of my most engaging content has been 500, to 1,000 to 1,500 word blog post that I just literally copy and paste. I want you and me to sit down and get a really clean flow on what happens when people come to us for the services. Like, I want to actually create a form where we where we where we audit, where we ask people for their email, for their websites, for their social handles to be able to audit what they're doing. I want them to tell us exactly how much monthly budget they have for marketing, for brand building, and for ad spends. So I just want to like get all that automated. Yeah, so let's do that. Let's call it Big Week for a Life in Shorts. That's the title of the, the, new, the this weekly newsletter. 
And then I think that basically our pieces of content are going to be the Pride video, the Columbia video, the Life in Shorts reel. Okay. I think we can just do those three and then, um, yeah, that, that would be really cool. So first blue bar can just be called, um, di di you know, I would just say like our digital, our digital agency is exploding. Happy Monday. Over the summer, we've, we've ex we're experiencing um, you know, incredible growth for our digital and branding agency here in New York City. Hope it, in, it inspires you in some way. Dude, this is like as meta as it gets. We are reviewing the daily vlog on the daily vlog. For those of you guys that are watching, what we do is we we do a daily vlog and then every day I have to review it and mostly I'm just reviewing it because we, since you're filming like a lot, a, um, some of the stuff that we say in the meetings is confidential and can't be shared so I have to just make sure that you don't, you're getting pretty good at it man, you're getting, you're getting good at egg, exiting, exiting, bleeping things out, so let's do this. You gotta bleep that out. Yeah, okay. All right, guys, so um, I'm about to go to a little business networking event. It's 6.30, 6.20, 6.30. So it's funny because An uh, it's Anthony. Anthony, also known as Tony, also known as Mr. Pellegrino. And for, for real, people don't know what Pellegrino is. I just shocked. Tony's first day here and he said, hey, Brian, should we do a shot somewhere other than where you're standing right now? which is in your desk, which is what we've had all, all day long. And I'm really super glad that you asked that, Tony, because it's just my mission, one of my missions, aside from really helping anyone in the world create profit from their passion, and to speak at Madison Square Garden, which we're gonna have something very cool soon, um, is to show you what it actually means to run a business. You know, there are so many 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 30, 40, 50 year olds that are pretending like they're running businesses because they put it in the Instagram DM, they put it in the Instagram, all this stuff that I'm an entrepreneur. But we've been here since 8.30 in the morning, it's 6.30. Um, we haven't stopped working for 10 hours, except for when I kicked Nick's butt in ping pong, which took about 12 minutes today. Nick, you really gotta step it up. Um, but, but the point is this, Yes, Tony, we've been sitting in the same desk all day, and yes, the shot might not be that amazing to have all day, but the truth of the matter is, it's rocking proposals, it's taking client calls, it's sitting with your assistant, it's sitting with your team, it's editing the videos, it's finding 100 different groups to share your videos in, it's on the phone with Kinko's for 30 minutes to, 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 to print out the right size thing, it's editing, it's re-editing, it's readjusting the audio, it's figuring out why the batteries don't work, it's real shit. It's real life entrepreneur stuff that happens all day long. It's getting overcharged and trying to figure out how to deal with that. It's partly your fault because you didn't monitor the hours. It's partly someone else's fault because they didn't monitor the hours. So what do you do at the end of the day? Now you have to make that decision. It's a thousand decisions every single day and sometimes you never ever leave the desk. And when that happens, that's real entrepreneurship. That is what I'm passionate about showing you with this vlog, that it's not sexy yachts in the rain and bikinis and bottles of champagne on the fucking East Hampton Boulevard. It's real work and it's a grind and it's every single day and I'm gonna go home now, I'm gonna do networking for another hour or two to try to get new clients. I'm gonna go home and respond to DMs on Instagram and it's gonna be midnight and before I know it, it's gonna be 7 a.m. again tomorrow and I'm gonna do the whole thing all over again. So I made a video for you a while back that said, I'm so done with this, but I'm seriously so done with this. All of you entrepreneurs that think it's this really immaculate, sexy, oh my God, it's the coolest thing to be in the whole world. I can't imagine working for anyone else. Literally, I can't imagine it. But I want you to know what it actually takes. Now I got a deal with a several hundred dollar overcharge. And that's like, you might be like, oh, several hundred dollars, like, that's a lot of money when you're running a lean enterprise. I don't care if you make a million dollars, you should be pinching that budget. And so the point is this, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry that maybe this isn't as dynamic as you want it to be, <clears throat> but it's real life and it's exactly what we're doing and it's truth. And that for me is the most important thing. Entrepreneurship is truth. And I am documenting 
documenting this journey. Like these vlogs, some days are boring. Like today's probably a pretty boring vlog. We've been, like you said, to, we've been here all day, but it is what it takes to keep the lights on. It is what it takes to help people share stories. It is what it takes to business develop, to be able to pay people to be here, to be able to do all the things that we're doing, to be able to build the empire that we wanna build and the magic that we wanna create. It all takes work at the same desk every single day, all year long. And that's just it. So please, please, please don't rash, don't romanticize what this is. This is what this is. What up guys, off to the event. It's more of a meeting, dinner, uh, drink situation with friends, at a friend's house. I'm gonna try to get a little footage for you if she's down with the vlog. Um, but yeah, just a busy, busy day, solid. 11 hour day at the office um it's a lot of work you know a lot of work right now getting some client deals going servicing clients dealing with just internal office stuff trying to keep the team happy hearing what's important to them um so lots of good stuff happening I'm gonna go connect with some people that i love and that i care about and uh it's super important to me it's number one i mean it really is just number one for what this life is all about for me and for just all of the success in general that's come my way has been a combination of me working really hard, but mostly just been amazing people. So carve out some time for them tonight and uh, let's see if we get you some footage. Right, see you guys. Guys, just uh, wrapping up the uh, dinner, birthday event. Uh, good, good night. You know, had a great conversation with a friend there, who's, you know, some life situation is taking her to a different path. She's going, moving upstate, and it just reminds me that life is always a constant evolution. Life is always forward motion. You're either in forward motion or you're not. You know, some things happen, some circumstances change for her. She has to leave her beautiful New York City apartment, her life here, and she has to go start a life upstate. So, um, you know, just a daily reminder that, listen, things change, things shift. You can either adapt and live, or you can wish things were some way other than they are. Choose forward motion. <laughs> 